Hello everyone, it's me again. To announce that lectures from part 2 of the CLB course will start appearing online soon. You can see the tentative list of all 20 lectures at the Siemens community site, which is shown at the end of each presentation. Another important announcement is that my book co-author, Professor Bob Street from Stanford University, has joined me in this endeavor. This may slow down the pace of online appearance of presentation and videos, but his contribution to the quality of presented material is invaluable. He has also reviewed all presentations from part one, and the updated PowerPoint presentation files will be uploaded to the Siemens community site by the end of the year 2024. The videos will be updated once the part two is finished. In part two of the course, we are covering the material from book chapters 9 to 13, but we also include a lot of examples and details which are not in the book. The focus is on second-order finite volume methods for complex geometries, dealing with topics and approaches found in most commercial and public CFD codes. In addition to discretization methods for arbitrary polyhedral control volumes, we cover the treatment of overlapping grids, moving grids, grid quality, adaptive grid refinement, multi-grid method for outer iterations, extension of pressure correction schemes to compressible flows, flow through free surface, turbulent flows, implementation of turbulence models into CFD codes, flows with phase change, and fluid structure interaction problems. Many examples of simulations performed with Simpson Testasis and Plus software from Siemens are used to illustrate the application of CFD to solving practical engineering problems. Most of findings from such examples are applicable to other CFD software tools as well. We will also show some results provided by our colleagues who use specialized codes for special applications. We hope that you will enjoy part two of the course and look forward to your comments and suggestions.